In this video, we'll talk about what Jeff Bezos' wife has been up to after their split. It looks like even the wealthiest man in the solar system isn't immune to the ups and downs of marriage. The world was quick to notice that while Jeff Bezos became the person to go through the costliest divorce in history, his ex-wife was set on becoming the world's wealthiest woman. First up, Mackenzie Scott has been donating billions since her divorce. What would you do if you suddenly had $38 billion in your account? You'd buy the whole world, right? But Mackenzie Scott is in a league of her own. Even after pocketing billions, she didn't venture into the world of designer purses and jewelry. The overnight billionaire was committed to changing the world, and she did. Scott didn't give away thousands or millions for that matter, she gave away billions in charity without blinking. Shortly after their divorce, Mackenzie signed the Giving Pledge. It's an initiative founded by the world's richest people, including Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. Mackenzie joined the organization in May 2019, shortly after her divorce, and she managed to churn down about $1.7 billion just after a year to 116 charitable organizations. Mackenzie grew up with and without fortune, but that didn't reshape her approach and concern towards humanity. People would know that Scott is a very private person and never really enjoyed the spotlight. Her husband started Amazon as an online bookstore inspired by Mackenzie's love for books. She may as well be the first Amazon employee, but she never forgot the truth of life. She was insanely rich. Her wealth was and is disproportionate, to which her approach is to ensure that she shares that money with the rest of the world. Instead of building organizations in her name, Scott focused on putting the light on on smaller and often overlooked charities. Up next, Mackenzie still remains one of the wealthiest women in the world even after her divorce. How? Yes, the ex-wife of one of the world's richest men still remains on the list of the world's wealthiest women. Not only that, but there was a significant increase in her net worth, which now stands at a whopping $43.6 billion. After her divorce in 2019, Scott went on to establish herself as an acknowledgeable force in the world of philanthropy. Her message? Stop focusing on her and give more attention to the organizations that matter. Mackenzie was never the one to get scared of a few bumps. She married Jeff Bezos when she was only 23 and even went on with her husband's crazy venture for a startup. She chose to stand by him instead of going with the obvious option, financial stability. After their marriage of 25 years, Scott pledged to give away half of her wealth. Even when she gives away billions every year, her wealth is still growing at an amazing rate. Wish we had that kind of magic potion on our hands. Since Mackenzie received a 4% stake in Amazon, it's easy to guess why her wealth never seems to decline. The billionaire said in a blog post, post published in March 2022 that she has donated up to $3.9 billion to 465 nonprofits since last June. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. She also handed in a massive paycheck to Planned Parenthood's national office that's worth $275 million. This is the single largest gift received by the health organization. Coming up, Jeff Bezos' wife is the world's most prolific philanthropist. We've all heard about Bill Gates and his wife being philanthropic king and queen, but there's new royalty in the house, and it's Mackenzie Scott. She has been tagged as one of the world's most prolific philanthropists, donating billions to more than a thousand charitable organizations. It's easy to claim to give away a billion dollars when you have ten, but Scott has her priorities set straight since the beginning. Since her divorce, there are almost non-existent rumors about her buying mansions, properties, cars, and even private space companies. She's always in the headlines for supporting this charity or giving away to that charity. From various organizations focusing on reproductive rights to nonprofit housing organizations like Habitat for Humanity, Scott has given away amounts like like $436 million without even flinching. This amazing woman has pledged to keep at it until the safe is empty, but it looks like her safe will never be empty. There's no stopping Amazon because if you look at the latest Bloomberg reports, Amazon's worth grew up by $10 billion only in a few weeks. So, until Mackenzie Scott gives up her Amazon stocks, she'll always be one of the richest women in the world. So, how did Mackenzie Scott manage to give away $12 billion in just two years? Yes, you heard right. The ex-wife of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos gave away a whopping $12.5 billion in the last two years to more than 1,250 nonprofit organizations. Scott ranks fifth on Forbes' 2022 list of biggest lifetime givers as she has directed nearly a quarter of her wealth toward charitable causes. There's a long list of organizations that would pay tribute to her efforts in changing the world. When someone asks about how the former wife of one of the richest men is doing today, you'll probably expect to hear chilling on a private beach or buying land on Mars, but that's not Mackenzie. The only thing she's been doing since the divorce is lifting up the less privileged in society as much as she can. Scott has been a fighter for racial justice, arts, gender equality, reproductive rights, and more. Her focus remains on smaller grassroots organizations, and most of these nonprofits can vouch that Mackenzie's donations are some of the largest they've received. She donated a massive amount of $281 million to the Boys and Girls Club of America and $10 million to leading educators. The best thing about Scott's philanthropic efforts is that she gives away the money with no strings attached. That's right, these nonprofit organizations that receive her funds 
can use them as they see fit. For instance, McKenzie gave about $18 million to the Charlotte, North Carolina YMCA, $30 million to the Borough of Manhattan Community College, and $15 million to a community college in Nebraska. Up next, does Mackenzie Scott's way of helping hurt the philanthropy business? Believe it or not, philanthropy is kind of a business where the donating party may have their interests at hand as well. But the way Mackenzie Scott operates sends out quite a different message to the world. Scott doesn't have a foundation to her name, nor does she operate with a business plan. She simply gives out anonymously, mostly without any notice. Some think that her way is exciting and effective, while others think that acting alone and not having an obvious way to contact them is sort of less transparent. The critics mean that if someone had to approach Mackenzie for help, there's no channel to do so because she isn't associated with a foundation or a mainstream platform. Most of her biggest philanthropic ventures come to light with her medium posts, where she explains her commitments and rigorous strategies. Her approach seems to sniff out organizations that offer results but lack support and coincide with her beliefs. Scott does the hard work of validating for organizations that deserve funding and does the heavy lifting of giving the biggest check and inviting the rest of the gang. Even when Mackenzie tries to stay out of the spotlight, it's hard to ignore her efforts to drain her money, which only keeps increasing. She thinks she's making a dent in her wealth, only to realize she's $6 billion richer than last year. And finally, did Mackenzie Scott get any of these assets? It's been a pain digging info about the lavish lifestyle of one of the richest women in the world because she apparently doesn't like to post about her wealth. The internet has personally never seen Mackenzie with a Louboutin or Chanel. She's rarely photographed, and interviews are always a no-no. So what is she doing with all her money? Apart from distributing her wealth to those who don't have it, she might have gotten a few more squeezes out of her marriage besides the billions. That's right, Mackenzie could have gotten any one of the couple's million to billion dollar assets. For example, the power couple owned 300,000 acres in Texas, a $10 million five-acre property in Washington, 100,000 additional acres in various parts of the country, and a $50 million mansion. These would have been the assets that could have found their way toward either party, but it was never officially confirmed who got the dog and who got the jet. Speaking of jets, Jeff Bezos did own a $75 million Gulfstream G650 private jet that can seat about 19 lucky people. If Mackenzie got Bezos's jet in the divorce settlement, she's probably using it to deliver money to the less fortunate. Bezos must be sighing in the corner if that were true. What people really notice is that while Jeff Bezos's net worth clocks at $164.8 billion, he has only given a mere 1% of his total wealth to the less fortunate. On the other hand, his ex-wife beats him by a mile and has given over 18% of her $46.7 billion to charity. Looks like the lady wins. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Mackenzie's way of doing charity is more efficient than the rest? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.